greet you in the lovely name of Jesus, our wonderful Savior. We welcome you to the Good News broadcast. It's good to be here tonight. I know a lot of people are concerned if we were going to be on air, so we are here. Uh, we have Brother Gilbert and his band with him with us tonight, and they'll be ministering to us in song. And uh, we have Sister Judy on the telephone, so be sure and call in your prayer requests. I have just a few requests here uh, to start off with. Uh, from last week that didn't get we didn't get these called out but uh, Ashlyn need, needed prayer a uh, special prayer for a miracle in her health and life uh, prayer for John Allen health his mother Orpha uh, Bill Tidewell needs prayer and Kathy Hendren uh, and family Connie Terry and family needs prayer Peggy Reeps enjoying the program. Bill and Ellie Helms needs prayer. Bill fell. Also, we want to have special prayer and a song for Ginger Bridges. Prayer for Ray and Margaret. Uh, prayer and a song for Peggy Webb. Prayer for Pauline Lael and Ruth Cole. Prayer and a song for Janice Oliver. And special prayer for Adam. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let them bless you in a song at this time. Come you sinners lost and lonely Jesus' blood can make you whole For he saved the worst among you when he saved a wretch like me And I know, yes I know, yes, I know, yes, I know. Jesus' blood can make the vilest sinner clean And I know, yes I know, yes, I know, yes, I know. Jesus' blood can make the vilest sinner clean the faint he gives power through the mountain he'll make a way find it water in the desert it turns the night to a golden day and I know yes, yes I know Blood can make the vile sinner clean, and I know, yes I know, yes I know, yes, I know. Jesus' blood can make the vile sinner clean. In temptation, he'll be near you. Hold the powers of hell at bay. He'll guide you to the path of safety and give you grace for every day. And I know, yes, I know. Yes, I know. Jesus' blood can make the vile sinner clean, and I know, yes I know, yes I know. Jesus' blood can make the vile sinner clean, and I know, yes I know, yes I know. Jesus' blood can make the vile sinner clean, and I know. Yes, I know, yes, I know, Jesus' blood can make the violence simply. And that's something we have to praise God for, that God loved us enough to give us his only begotten son, but his son had to die. He had to shed his blood for us 
that we could be cleansed from our sins by faith through grace ye we are saved. I want to make an announcement that all Sunday services uh, are canceled tomorrow at the Eichard Church of God. Uh, I ask you to remember the family and friends of Elwanda Smith from Stony Point. Elwanda passed away on the 12th of this month and her services was today, so I ask you to remember that family in prayer. Uh, Bonnie from Hickory says the good news is a blessing. Shirley and John from Landis uh, uh, says we listen to your program and we love listening to you. Uh, a song for Glenn up in Pinola, a song for Frank uh, from Conley Springs. So we're going to go ahead and dedicate these folks a song and go ahead, Brother Gilbert. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain and you've got peace of mind like you've never known. But then things change and down in the valley Don't lose faith for You're never alone For the God on the mountain He's still God in the valley When things go wrong He'll make them right And the God of the good times God in the bad time, yes, the God of the day, he's still God in the night. Talk about faith when you're up on the mountain, the talk comes so easy. Life's at its best, but down in the valley of trials and temptations, that's where your faith is really put to the test. But the God on the mountain, he's still God in the valley. When things go wrong, them right and the God of the good times he's still God in the bad times yes the God of the day he's still God in the night and the God of the day he's still God in the night He's God in the day, He's God in the night, He's God 24 hours a day. Linda and Lee from Morganton says, Thank you for all you do for the work of the Lord. I want to send a song out to Lisa and Oza. I think I pronounced that right. It's spelled O-Z-A, Oza. Uh, a song for Emma Kate from Albemarle. And also, I want to send a song out to Richard from up in Granite Falls. Dustin had back surgery the 10th, so just remember him. Uh, Bill needs prayer, has fluid-filled uh, lung. Uh, Pat has uh, lung cancer, needs prayer, and the cancer is in both lungs. Uh, ask you to remember a gentleman from down in Lincolnton. He's in the hospital. Uh, his name is Gene, and I ask you to pray for him. The man just goes berserk if you mention the name of Jesus. And uh, he's very sick and could very well leave this world. And if you've ever prayed for the Holy Spirit of God that can uh, get a hold of this man's heart and soul, I ask you to take it sincere and pray for him uh, that the enemy will release him and that God can touch his heart and save him before he leaves this world. So uh, when you lift 
this gentleman up in prayer, just lift up Gene. God knows his last name and, and who he is. Uh, Jewel it says she's enjoying the program very much and says, uh, don't ever leave the old time preaching. Uh, we thank God for you. So I'm not going to leave it. <laughs> it's God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and God don't change. The world is changing. People are changing. But I'm afraid a lot of people who thinks that they can do what they want to do and get to heaven is going to find out one day that they didn't do what God required of them to do. And it's a straight way. The Bible tells us it's a straight and narrow way. And few there be that enter in. Straight is the gate and narrow is the way. But broad is that road that leads to destruction and leads to... Uh, Matter of fact, it goes to hell, and many there be that walk on that road. So we, we just ask you to search your hearts and and uh, do what's right for the Lord, Brother Gil. We'll go ahead and bless them in a song, if you will. special prayer for Roy and Audrey Hyatt and they want the song God on the Mountain or A Rose Will Do. A uh, prayer for Leonard Tigg, also prayer for Albert Stone and family and also for Dennis Burns who is in the Baptist Hospital. We want to say a happy belated birthday to Bonnie Treadway. Her birthday was last Thursday so we want to send a song out to her. 
Also a prayer and a song for Josie Davis and a sing prayer and a song for Ray. Special prayer for Bill Griffin and his wife, Barbara. So we're gonna let them bless you in a song. Go ahead, Brother Gilbert. On the cross, Jesus died and was there crucified. the Lord. Prayer for Deborah and Jean. They both have per, uh, health issues and enjoying the program. Song for Don and Gladys. Sue Frady has a birthday. It's one of the birthday songs. Nancy Knight loss of husband. Prayer for Donald, Lois, and Jonathan and Nikki for health. Uh, Karen from Concord wants prayer for all those who are working in the storm. Uh, and a song for everyone, a prayer for Kathy Pilkerton and family, and a birthday song for Marlene. I'm going to throw a surprise on you because we have this little birthday song that we sing at church, and I'm going to sing it to you. <laughs> and this is for all of those who uh, are having a birthday. It's just this a little bit different than the regular birthday song, but if you can pick me up, that's fine. Okay. I'll try to find you. All right. <laughs> Brother Gibbs gonna try to follow me. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. May you feel Jesus near every day of the year. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. May it be the best years of your life. Happy birthday. Go ahead, Brother Gibbs. I found it by the time you're done. <laughs> Girl's gonna sing. I want to say I want to appreciate and thank everybody that's got the TVs turned to Channel 14. Appreciate the people that says through the, through the days after we're gone that I saw you at such and such a time, and we really do appreciate it. And uh, I want to thank the Lord that it pay, appears like certain areas that we're not bothered by the storm, but we need to pray for all those who are in that storm's path because it's been very devastating. And Gerald's going to sing... I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses 
and the voice I hear falling on my ear, the sound of God keeps calling me, and He walks with me, and He talks with me, and He takes. As we tarry there, none other has ever known. He speaks, and the sound of his voice is so sweet that the birds hush their singing, and the men. That he gave to me within my heart keeps calling, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own, and the joy. As we tarry there, none has ever known. Well, I'll stay in the garden with him till the night time around me has fallen. But he'll bid me. With a voice of woe, the Son of God keeps calling me, and He walks with me, and He talks with me, and He tells me I am His own. We tarry there, none other has ever known. I'd like, I'm going to ask them to do something special. I want them just to play that song. Don't sing it, but just play it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, George Westover needs prayer. He played the mandolin with Brother Gilbert and them, and uh, I saw him today at the funeral. And uh, George is not doing good, and uh, just got a call in that uh, he needs prayer. And I, I want to go to the Lord in prayer at this time, not only for George but for all of those who need prayer. And let me talk to you just just a little bit. Uh, without faith, the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. So when we pray, you have to believe. If you believe in God and you believe that God loved this world and God sent his son into this world to die for our sins and to die for us and that he has brought salvation to us and, and you believe that he has saved you. It's the very same faith that saved your soul is the very same faith that can heal your body. But you have to believe that. You've got to believe in the same God that saved you and the same Jesus that died on the cross and suffered before he went to the cross even because when they whipped him with the cat of nine tails they put stripes upon his back they tore his flesh there were stripes there were 40 stripes and 39 of those stripes were for the healing of all sickness and all disease 
In medical science, there's 39 original diseases that everything else extends from those 39. So we, you just think about it. Jesus already bore your sickness. He's already shed the blood and the flesh, and he's already paid the price for you. And I'm gonna pray for you, and I want you to believe with me that when we pray, that you're gonna receive your healing from the Lord. And some may look at you like you're stupid or you're crazy, but I'm gonna tell you something. God's not stupid and God's not crazy. But I know that God has all power in heaven and earth. And if it's, if it's God's will and you have the faith to believe it, he can touch you. I heard today a young man was facing surgery. He has a, a, a lung disorder, a lung disease but he also had an enlarged heart and he had a hole in his heart. And they were gonna do surgery on his heart and they didn't, wouldn't guarantee it because one side of his heart was enlarged and it said it would blow it out if they uh, tried to uh, repair the hole in the heart. But when he went to have it done, they did the test and they couldn't find the hole in the heart no more and the heart was not larged in no more. The heart is normal and has been normal for, for several months. That heart has been normal and it's recorded that he has a normal heart. Now let me tell you something, if God can do that, God can do anything. I had a brother-in-law that was born with a hole in his heart, the size of a nickel, and God healed it. He served in the army, he worked every day, he was a great man, and that's what God can do. You know, people don't tell these things anymore, but that's the things that God can do. But it's based upon your faith. And if the Bible declares that without faith, it's impossible to please God. If you want to please Him, believe in Him, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. The evidence is you don't see God healing you and taking the disease out of your body, but once it's happened, then that's a testimony and that's a witness to what God can do. Our Father in heaven, we come before you in the name of Jesus. You taught us to pray. You taught us to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And Lord, we're asking you tonight, Father God, that your will be done. And Lord, that you will touch uh, uh, George, that you will touch the, all these people that have called in with sickness, those that are in the hospital. We declare a decree that the blood of Jesus not only cleansed us from all sin and, and sickness, but he bore the stripes upon his body for the healing of our sickness and of our diseases. And Lord, we ask you to manifest yourself in these last days to show this generation that you are God and there's none other beside you. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, we feel your anointing. And Lord, we ask you to send your anointing upon those wherever they may be tonight just watching this broadcast. Whatever their problem may be, whatever their disease is, whatever their situation is, Father God, you touch them by your Holy Spirit. Let your anointing flow. Let the blood that was shed through the stripes of your son Jesus cover them and touch them and let us know and hear the testimony of your great work that you have done in the lives of these people who are standing in need. Father, help them their unbelief. Jesus said, O oh, ye of little faith. Jesus said, Help thou my unbelief. And Lord, we ask you tonight to do a work in these people. Whoever it is tonight that's standing in need, touch them, Father. And let them know, God, that you are God and there's no other God beside you. And we ask it to be done in Jesus' name because, Father, Jesus said, Jesus taught us that whatsoever we ask you in his name, that you would do. And we trust you and we're believing that you're going to do and answer what we've asked you to do. And we call it done in Jesus' name. Go ahead and sing, brethren. Praise the Lord. Okay, can you get to D chord. Okay. Add a little bit. We went to hard do.
And I see the sun rise in the morning When I feel the wind blow across my face When I hear the sound of children playing Well, I know Heart of God's amazing grace And I believe There's a place called heaven Yes, I believe In a place called Calvary And I believe In a man whose name is Jesus Yes, I believe that he gave his life for me. I pray someday we might see this place called heaven. We'll see our friend and all of our family. We'll feel the power. They'll take our soul to be crowned at Jesus' feet. And I believe that there's a place called heaven. And I believe in a place called Calvary. Yes, I believe there's a man whose name is Jesus. Yes, I believe that he gave his life for me. Yes, I believe that he gave his life for me. Yes, I believe he gave his life for me. Amen. Let me announce again that all Sunday services are canceled tomorrow at the Acker Church of God. Uh, that song was right on time because a song I believe for Joanna and family, prayer for Francis Bowers, and pray for all in the storm, pray for uh, Tessa Boone is in the hospital uh, having dialysis. Uh, prayer for Guy Stanley, cancer in a song. Uh, Maurice Childress is in the hospital with heart problems. And Fred Freeman, heart problems, but one with the song, I Believe. And Fred, that song was for you and all of you who wanted that song. It's a beautiful song, it really is. A praise report from Steve Goodman for all the goodness of the Lord to him. So don't forget, all Sunday services have been canceled at the Acker Church of God. I'm going to go ahead and give out the names of those who have given on the broadcast this week. And uh, we want to thank these dear folks for their sacrifices and giving to the broadcast. Uh, our funds are up some, but it's not where it should be, so don't forget about us. And remember, if God's dealing with you to give to the broadcast, be obedient unto the Lord because He will bless you. And He may not always bless you with money, but He'll bless you with your health, with the needs that you have. So there's many ways that God blesses us through obedience. Uh, Frank from Conley Springs. Lynn and Lee from Morganton, Lisa and Aza from Morganton, Richard from Granite Falls, Emma Kate from Albemarle, North Carolina, Glenn from Pinola, Shirley and John from down in Landis, North Carolina. Good to hear from those folks. Uh, Bonnie from Hickory, Jewel from Mint Hill, North Carolina, Donald and Janice from Kings Mountain. We have a listener from Lincoln, also a listener from Conley Springs, and Bill from Hidden Eye. 
Also, we appreciate 4M Farms of Maiden, and uh, they now have deer corn available, so if you want to go by and get you some corn to feed the deers, you sportsmen, why, feel free to do so. The trading, post, the trading Post Produce over in Taylorsville, located on Highway 16 North, just across the road from Alexander Funeral Home, um, go by and uh, check out their produce. They are wholesale and retail, and uh, that's uh, the Hubbards uh, run that, Kevin Hubbard and his mother. Uh, so we appreciate what you've done. We're going to let them sing one more song, and we're going to go into the message. Blyham we, that thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. Daily walking close to thee. Let it be. Dear Lord, let it be Well through my year of toils and snares Lord, if, if I falter, who will care? And who with me my burden share? None but Thee Dear Lord, none but Thee It's just a closer walk with Thee Grant it, Jesus, is my plea Daily walking close to Thee Let it be Lord, let it be Well, when my life on earth is over And time for me shall be no more Well, who will guide me safely over To thy kingdom to thy kingdom shore Said just a closer walk with thee Grant it, Jesus, is my plea Daily walking close to thee Uh, prayer for Daniel Dunn and family, prayer for a son-in-law whose cancer has returned, and prayer for Reverend Jimmy Green, who is in serious condition in the Asheville Hospital. So let's remember these special requests. Uh, we're going to go into the message at this time, and you know, there's a lot of people who are having a lot of problems or a lot of troubles. A lot of people are restless. They're in turmoil. It may be that you're battling a sickness. You might be battling a broken home. There's a number of things that you could be battling and you don't have peace. You're troubled. The world is full of trouble. People are searching to find peace. But you only find temporary peace in the material things of this world. But real peace and true peace comes from God above. David said in Psalms 29 and 11 that the Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. 
You know, there's people being blessed that doesn't even belong to the Lord. Because you see, to be a part of the Lord, to be a part of Him, we have to be born again. Even though we were made and created in His image and His likeness, made from the dust of the earth, from the dust of the earth, we were made into the dust of the earth, we will return. But we're not really His until we have been born again. That's, that's very important because once we have been born again, then we become the children of God. We become His people. See, you're, you belong to the devil. If you're not saved, you belong to the devil. The devil is your father. That's who you belong to. But if you're saved, you belong to God. And you're God's people. You belong to the Lord. And those people, David said, the Lord will give strength unto his people, and the Lord will bless his people with peace. If you're saved tonight and you, be you belong to him, if you've got problems and you've got troubles, then just remember that God can bless you with peace. You don't have to live your life in turmoil, but you can live your life in peace. Isaiah 26 and 3 says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. You can't trust in every wind and doctrine and every rotten thing that comes along and expect God to bring peace to you. If we will keep our mind on him, on the Lord Jesus Christ, and on God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, then it's promised to us by the prophet Isaiah that thou will keep him, God will, keep us in perfect peace. But our minds must be stayed on him. We can't be here today and somewhere else tomorrow. We can't serve God on Sunday and go out and play around with the devil all week long till Wednesday night and come back to God's house and serve him and then go back out the rest of the weekend and serve the devil. We can't do that. that that's being double-minded. That's, that's not the way it works because you don't have your mind stayed on him. To have your mind stayed on him is every day. When you lift up your eyes of a morning, you should lift them up into heaven and thank God that you're alive, that you're breathing, that you have another opportunity that day to be blessed of God. Isaiah prophesied that in this 26th chapter of verse 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Where's your trust at tonight? Who are you trusting in? Are you trusting in this thing in your hip pocket? Are you trusting, what are you trusting in? You trusting in your drugs? You trusting in your liquor? You trusting in your sex? What are you trusting in? Well, all of those things are material things and those are things of the natural, but we have to trust God. God has all power in heaven and earth. God is the one who is in control and God is the one who is able to keep us in perfect peace. Isaiah also was writing in the ninth chapter of Isaiah in verses 6. He said, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. It had been prophesied that this would come. And sure enough, it came. In Isaiah 26 and 12, Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all of our works in us. God is a great God. God will help us. God is there for us. And we must put our trust in him and our faith in him. In a book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13 and 14, says, but now in Christ Jesus, this one that came, the child that was born, Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus, salvation, Christ, the anointed one. But now in Christ Jesus, 
ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Everybody's in turmoil. Everybody's trouble. Yes, I am sad. It, it touches my heart that people have lost their lives in this storm. But we don't control that. That's something that God had control over. It's there for a reason. It's there. It happened for a purpose. All things happen for a reason. All things happen for a purpose. It, it wouldn't happen if God didn't allow it to happen. And sometimes because of our rebellion and our evilness and our wickedness, God allows destruction to come upon the children of disobedience. And the good have to suffer with the bad. Because he said he's poured out his wrath upon the just and the unjust. God knows what he's doing. But also God has given to his people peace in the time of trouble. Peace in the midst of the storm. He calmed the troubled water. He calmed the sea when it was raging. He spoke to the winds and they obeyed him. And Ephesians 2, 13, 14 says, But now in Christ Jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall partition for us. Thank God. Paul said in Romans 5 and 1, writing to the church there, he said, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. When trouble comes, when you're in a turmoil, what are we to do? We put our faith, we put our trust in God. A lot of times man can fail us. Man can only do so much for us. Man can only go so far with us. But God said he would go all the way with us, even to the grave and beyond the grave. He will go with us. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God that we have that peace. Also in Romans 16 and 20, Paul said this, And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. He was giving a blessing upon the children of God. And we have that same offer tonight. We have that same offering Paul said in Philippians 9, 4, and 9, Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. God has given us much instructions. The Holy Bible is a whole book of instructions. It's the road map to heaven. It's the... It's the word that teaches us. It's the word that reprimands us. It's the word that shows us the way that we should go. In John 14, 27, Jesus said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Can we take these words? Can we believe upon these words that Jesus has spoken? Do we actually believe that he will leave peace with us? Yes, he will. He said, not only peace I leave with you, but my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. He gave himself. He gave us his spirit. When we were born again, we received His Spirit in us. If He is in us and He abides in us, then we have peace within us. No matter what our trials may be, no matter what our turmoils may be, we'll have peace. When I heard about the storm, I had peace 
peace inside because I believe that God would take care of us and I believe he will take care of us when we all leave the studio here tonight and we head to our homes. I believe that the hand of God is upon us and I believe that we all have peace because we are trusting and believing that we come here to do a work for the Lord. We come here to minister to you, to help you, to reach out to you, to try to bring peace and understanding to you that you don't have to live in a life of turmoil. You don't always have to just stay troubled every day of your life because there is a remedy. And Jesus Christ is that remedy. The drug addict, the alcoholic, the sinner, the worst sinner on earth. He's living in turmoil. Drug addicts are living in turmoil because if they can't get a fix, they're tormented. They may cut themselves, scratch themselves. They're not no telling what they may do. Same way with an alcoholic. Anything that is addictive and that addiction is not satisfied People can harm themselves and hurt themselves because their minds are not in peace. It's in turmoil. But Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. We can't have an abundant life if we don't have him. But he came to give us that life. In the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. I don't know what all your needs are. You know what you stand in need of. You know the trouble that's in your life. You know the demon that you're dealing with. You know the problem that you have. You know the situation that you're in. But you're going to have to make that request known unto the Lord. He said, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. He wants to hear you confess to Him that you have a problem. He wants to hear you confess to Him, I have this addiction. I, I'm bound by this. I'm a sinner. I'm lost and I'm troubled. My life is for, full of turmoil. And Lord, I need you. He's waiting for you to make your request known unto him. Because you see in verse 7 it says, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. You won't have to be crazy in your mind. But if you'll trust Jesus Christ, put your hope and trust in him, you can have peace in your mind. And you can live a normal life. We have five minutes left on the broadcast. We'll ask Brother Gilbert and him to come and bring us a song at this time. And we're going to go off with a song. But let me say to you, if you're out there tonight and you're troubled and your life is in a turmoil, I want to tell you that the solution to your problem is Jesus Christ. He is your Savior. He is the Redeemer. He is the Prince of Peace. He's a wonderful, he's wonderful. He's counselor. He's mighty God. He's everything that we need. It is in him. I don't know what they're going to sing, but I'm, I'm just telling you that if you want peace tonight, call upon Jesus Christ. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. The prayer line is open. If you need someone to pray with you, we'd be willing to pray with you. But this is what we're here. We're here to bring you the good news. That you don't have to live your life in turmoil and trouble and sorrow and hurt all the time. But you can live in peace and comfort and happiness. You don't have to live the way you're living. You don't have to be the person that you are. You can become a new creature in Christ Jesus if you'll just call upon Him. Oh, may the Holy Spirit of God convict your heart right now. May the Holy Spirit of God call you to repentance. May He call you to call upon Him and ask Him to forgive you. And I'll tell you, if you mean with a sincere heart, He'll forgive you. He'll reach out to you and He'll touch you and He'll save you. Go ahead, brethren, and sing.
shall rule. I want to meet mother and saints of yore in heaven the whole.